Hello world, and thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the eShell WFX extended model for today's second video. This is your 42 day slash six week look ahead for the UK and for Ireland. And I should get time for, for you in a moment. Just say that first video today was our 6 MUK weather forecast. We get forecasts covering the entire Christmas period up to uh, next weekend anyway. Um, and also, we've got 10 14 there with all of red features. Please like, share, and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. And thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. For Gals, well, it's thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much. Love there. So, she showed I have got IT for supplying the charts with danger as well, by the way. So, GC, love there. How amazing. Uh, right, okay. Well, we're going to start off with week one mean seal pressure anomaly taking us from the 23rd to the 30th of December through the Christmas week. Here we go, then. And we've got high pressure. In the Atlantic, and it's in the western parts of Europe as well. Low pressure towards Greens and Iceland. Jet streams up here on Mars over jet, but because high pressure dominating, there might be a bit of an inversion. I have to wait and see. Well, the uh, 500 millibar height is only from the Arctic to the North Pole view down. Shows high pressure on the Atlantic reaching into western parts of Europe. Temperature anomaly is next week. A mild, it's a mild Christmas. On the way, and we see temperature is there widely uh, three to six degrees above average. The coldest temperatures are actually closer to the south and in the north. That's where we might get a little bit of frost and fog later on in the week. And France is coming away for cooler or colder than average uh, Christmas week there due to that high pressure bringing in a bit of an easy flow. Also, a dry week next week, so high and dry, mild and dry for Christmas. Right, week two will be the 30th of December, 6th of January. January. Oh, do, do, do. it's quite interesting. High pressure centering around Green and Iceland, top of low in across the northeast. Europe. That's going to try and bring the wind around to a colder north northeastly. It looks like I've got a bit of a ridge there extending through Western Europe. We've got to lower those heights down to south. You see this low? Just see. You want to, you want to pop a cold pan? I'll explain it. So this blocking area of high pressure around Green and Iceland is fine. As is the trough up here. They're going to be pulling in a northerly flow. The complication is this ridge. Instead of that, we want to bring this low in here and move it in that direction. If we did that, then these, uh, this high here, the block there, the trough there, would open the door into those cold north northeast winds and off into freezer. We would plunge. So it's not that far from turning much colder, but it's not quite there. Just a subtle adjustment is needed. Uh, 500 millibar height only back in the trough into the north and west of Europe. High pressure blocking around Greenland Iceland. And again, winds going potentially into the northeast direction. But we've got to lower those heights down to the south as well. Temperature anomalies next week are cooling down. No, not next week, week after. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Cooling down. Um, oh, we're close to average there. I have no single, uh, signal. Uh, notice it is cold and average to our north. Iceland, Greenland, possibly into um, Nordic and Scandinavian regions as well. That could be a cold snap showing up around or just after the new year. And pre precipitation-wise, well, again, you see it. So we've got wet and average conditions here about bringing a lot of snow to northern Europe. We've got drier conditions with Atlantic headed towards Greenland. Wet down here around the Azores. That all looks fine. The complication is these dry conditions through southern Europe. Again, we've got to lower those heights across southern Europe and bring this wet weather into uh, Spain and Portugal and eventually push it through. Med. If we do that, we'll open the door of a cold normally. So it's close, but perhaps not quite close enough. Week three! will be the 6th to the 13th of January. And uh, this week shows high pressure dominating across the western portions of uh, Europe there. So the 500 millibar heights also, also showing that. Could bring a bit of frost and fog there the first half of January into uh, western parts of Europe. Tom John's actually lifting up, though, for uh, western Europe. A drat. <laughs> and uh, precipitation. Why? Well, no, you've got to be unbiased, guy. Be unbiased. Do your day job. Be professional. Drive an average out to the west, or western an average over to the east. Right, we're cooking with gas. Week four will be the third. 18th to 20th of January. Here we go. Oh, now we've got high... Oh, 
Now, we've got high pressure just to our west. So, we're probably reverting back to those westerlies again. And uh, what are 500 millibar heights doing? Well, again, we see that we've got high pressure from the Atlantic into western portions of Europe once more. Temperature anomaly, just ever so slightly above average, but not a particularly big deviation. And precipitation-wise, we look like that. Largely on the drier side, but it is a weakening signal because we are four weeks away. Right, week five, people, 20th, 27th of January. This is it. Oh, well, that, oh, well, that's a bit mysterious, isn't it? High pressure looks like it's heading towards the east coast of America there. Um, and Canada. So, what's going on here? I'm going to put in a couple of question marks. I won't sing Marvin. Although, should I? Should I? Should I? Should I? Should I, should I? No, I won't. Um, but we'll put in question marks. Let's have a look at 500 millibar heights. See if they're shedding any light. Well, that takes high pressure over towards uh, Eastern America and Canada as well. Um, now, all a little bit mysterious there into the fifth week. Uh, temperature anomalies are close to average, and precipitation anomalies, they're mysterious too. Right, well, lastly, week six, week the 27th of January to the 3rd of February. Here we go. Oh, and well, again, very mysterious. I don't know. So, let's put in another question mark. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Let's have a look at 500 millibar heights. See what they're doing. On the right, well, we've got some higher pressure there and over here. Um, but what's going on through the Atlantic into Northern Europe? I'm going to put in a question mark again. And we'll have a look at temperature anomalies for week six. A little bit milder. Long way off, of course. And precipitation-wise, perhaps a bit wetter. Could be signs of the Atlantic returning for February. I don't know. I think it's all a little bit mysterious from about weeks four or five onwards. Is the camera blurred? I think the camera might be blurred. Anyway, we'll get it wrapped up there. So sorry about the camera being blurred. Um, that's it, man. Remember, any forecast on five, seven days going to big cab when large pinch of salt attached. So that is always the caveat. I'm going to be back a little bit later on. Your weekend forecast and the 10th 14 day. Come back for that in a bit. Remember, nobody does it like Gav. Tell your friends and family that too. Um, but the EC 42 day, yeah, we're very blurred, aren't we? Um, never mind. Uh, EC 42 day, that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again with another one very, very soon. Bye for now.